Do you feel like you've been run over by a train or a truck and left in the middle of the road for dead? Well, if you do, you're not alone. Many people with chronic fatigue syndrome and fibromyalgia live many hours of every day, 24-7, like that. Now, it's possible to feel better, and it's possible to get better. I'm the first one to affirm that is a big possibility. But today we're talking about how bad you feel. Okay, let's consider that. I had quite a long time that I was so very sick. And I don't think there's anything like it. I mean, I could remember back, and it, it's hard to even remember. It's, it's hard to go back to that place once you've left it. But I do go back, and I do remember it. I'm writing a book, and I've had to remember that. And it's some very painful memories. Because it's so hard. Nobody... Let's see, let's find a better way to say that. No one who has not suffered in such a way, has any idea the degree, the level, the magnitude of your and my suffering when it is chronic, constant, ever relenting. I mean, it might feel better to be run over by a truck uh, at least once because at least you could get better, your bones could heal, hopefully. But these conditions are like you run over and then somebody backs up again and then backs up again and then backs up again. It's like you never, ever get a break. So I want to encourage you, if you're here today, that don't lose hope with situations like this. It's so easy to do that. It's so easy to feel sorry for yourself. Now, you have a right to feel bad some of the time. You do. Of course, you do. But staying in that place can be certainly negative. It's not helping your health. And it won't help you to move on toward the next step, which is finding a way to get better. So I encourage you, if you feel like that old truck just ran over you, saying, say to yourself, well, this could be over. Could be over tomorrow, could be over next week. I could feel better when the sun comes out tomorrow. I mean, I'm dressed in my t-shirt today, and I've been out in the yard with the dogs and the flowers and a friend of mine who's a master gardener, and we've been trading secrets and doing things like that. Hobbies, friends, activities, they get your mind off of any aches and pains that you have, whether they're from fibromyalgia, chronic fatigue, or an arthritis condition, a muscular condition, uh, something involving the discs in the back, uh, maybe RSD, a lupus, a Lyme. Oh, those can have terrible body pains involved with lupus and Lyme. And there's just so many illnesses that do cause a lot of chronic pain. So just don't give in to the point that you lose hope. It's very important not to do that. You too can experience a level of healing that maybe you didn't know. Maybe you can get better 5%. Hey, you take every 5% you can get, won't you? Maybe 10, maybe 15 or 20 or 25. Ooh, that would be nice, wouldn't it? What about really getting close to getting well? Maybe a 65 or a 75 percent. Ooh, that, that, now that got your attention, didn't it? And maybe all the way. There's a lot of people who can feel better. So don't lose hope. Don't. I got well. Lots of people can get a large improvement in their health, and particularly from the pain. I still suffer with a little bit of cognitive dysfunction from time to time. Um, I still suffer once in a while from word choice. You know how that is when you're thinking one thing and the mouth gets mixed up and, you know, the connection just isn't there. That's all cognitive dysfunction. Uh, I still 
work on my sleep problems. There are a few things that hang on for me which are not completely well, but I consider myself 95% well. And if I can do it from the depths and the level of being flat on the floor that I was so long ago, if I can do that, anyone can do it. I had no medicines. I had nothing, really. There were a few things that helped a little and certainly spurred my immune system, did a number of things, and I'll be talking about those in the coming weeks. But I just encourage you, a lot of this is up to you. Really. I'm not putting any blame on you. But how you think about it, how you perceive it, how positive you are about that a change can take place in your life, that you can feel better. No one can think those things but you. No one can find that hope and instill it in you but you. So when that old freight train comes roaring by, thumb your nose at it. <laughs> and say, you know, maybe I won't be so bad this time. Maybe I'll be better the next time. Maybe tomorrow, a nice sunny day, a day where I can find a better hope, find a deeper hope, find reasons for living, reasons for feeling better. I can find the right people to deal with. I'm certainly glad to help you if you like. Email me at cinda at getwellhealth.com and I will help you all I can. I have some specialized healing that I help with, with, with people. I'm happy to do that. It's do it one-on-one -on -one, or we can do it at a distance, either way. But that's not really the point of this message. The point of it is that I want you to not lose your hope. Just thumb your nose at that old train when it comes roaring by and saying, I may not meet you again. Or if I do, it won't be so bad. I won't be in as much pain. I'm going to be able and capable of doing more. Listen, thank you so much. I'm Cindy Crawford, your host of the Health Matter Show. Please come back to visit us on any day of the week for the blog. It's liable to be a brand new post. There's always stuff up. And then on Fridays, I either do an audio podcast or a video podcast. And I'm really, really happy you're here. Leave a message if you like. Leave a comment and tell us how you're doing. And if you need help, you can let me know too. It's send it getwellhealth.com. Come back to visit healthmattershow.com. Bye-bye.